as you know, we've been looking for a foal or yearling and we've been looking online. There's a stud in England who breeds Andalusians and the lady's name is Sam that owns the stud. She hasn't any youngsters left, unfortunately, from last year, but she does regularly import for herself and friends, and she's offered to have a look around to see what's available that might interest me. And this is one of the videos. This is a colt. He's a pearl, which is an unusual colour, so you do pay more for an unusual colour. Um, he's a yearling. I look for in a horse for myself is forward going, brave, well bred with good confirmation and colour does play quite an important part for me. Of course colour should not be an important part when choosing a horse but for me it does play an important part. This is because I don't compete. That's not my thing. I like to go out for a hack and play with my horses as pets. So colour matters. But most important now at my age, as I'm 60 this year, is height. I have difficulty nowadays getting on from the ground and there are times when you do have to get on from the ground. So the height I'm looking for is 15.3 to 16 hands. This is Pearl of Peace. He is my favourite horse colour. He's a golden double pearl. His mum is owned by Sam and her friend owns the stallion and here's a picture of the stallion. This is a golden pearl. He's 20 months old and I really liked him um, but when I made further inquiries he has got the virus called pyroplasmosis. This is quite common um, in Spain because the virus is passed on uh, via ticks. It can make horses very poorly and some even die and horses can be a carrier even though not showing the symptoms themselves but having spoken to our vets Rainbow Equine they've said no don't don't buy something with it already because if they get stressed it can materialize and uh, it's it, you can't really cure it very well. In America, Australia and New Zealand, you can't import a horse with that virus, though you can in England. It's probably because we don't have really many ticks like they do um, in hotter countries. I am not intending to breed at all, um, but it can be passed on to their offspring. This is a beautiful two-year-old golden pearl filly, but unfortunately she's way out of my price range. It's traditional in Spain for young horses to have their manes and tails hogged for showing, and she's a very good show prospect, this one. Excellent confirmation. This is a lovely apricot pearl filly, not yet weaned. Sam is interested in purchasing the mum as a brood mare, so we might be able to do something on the transport costs from Spain if I was to go ahead with this one.
Here we have a cream pearl colt who is eight months old and we have arranged with Karen, the owner of the stud in England, to go and have a look at him in a couple of weeks time. They're on clay down there so they've been really affected by the rain. And now for something completely different. This is a warm blood filly up near Edinburgh. Her sire is First and Look and his sire is First and Ball, both owned by Paul Schokomola. She will be a year old in May. Her dam is 15-1, so hopefully she wouldn't grow to more than 16 hands. She is at the ugly duckling stage this is her at two months of age. This is Thurston Wood. He is a colt. His daddy is First Romancer, again a Paul Shockamola stallion, but unfortunately he's going to go to around the 17 hand mark, so he's not in the running, but lovely. I really like him. The little filly is very much in the running, so we're going to go and see her in a couple of weeks' time. That's all for now folks. If you've enjoyed the video don't forget to give us a thumbs up and uh, as always we do like to read your comments. Uh, it doesn't have to be about our video. You can tell us about what you're doing with your horse or totally unrelated to horses. It's very nice to hear what our subscribers are up to. Until next time, TTFN.